Hello guys, welcome to another Spigot tutorial. On today's Spigot tutorial is going to be on Lord Permissions. The guy messaged me down in the video, in my last video, saying that I should do this plugin. It came out Friday. Might have a couple bugs, might be in a different language, but we can still get into it and teach you. Or I can teach you how to use it. So let's get right into it, guys. So first off, you should join the world with the plugin. And if you say hi or something, it should put you in the default group with the prefix. Now... For the main command, show all the commands you use slash pp, and you get all the um commands. So when if you want to create a group, you do slash pp group create. I'm gonna call mine test, and this is say something 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 test. You see the white word test. You know that you create a group named test, and it's green words, so it's good. I don't understand the language, but I know the green words are good. So then, if you do slash pp well, just say hi. You're still be in the default group. So if you want a player to be in that group you just created, you do slash pp group set player name, which mine is Ginger, plays MC, and then the name of the group test. So now I'm in test, and this part is somewhat English. And if you say hi, voila, you can see the prefix is hi. Well, what if you want it to be a different prefix? Or like a different color. Then you do slash pp group edit name of the group and then prefix because it's prefix. And then you do wolves and I think it's you know, I'll I'll put the color codes in the description, but I'm just gonna create one as and six bracket and one ginger just because I can and then and six bracket so if I say hi wow guys that looks amazing look at that guys you can even put your name if you put like something like a color code and then you don't put it back to normal it'll, your name will be in that color so you can see the bracket and this is in color so that's cool you can I'm actually gonna see what if I didn't see this so if you do slash PP we're gonna do the um suffix now slash pp group name of the group which is test with suffix and I'm gonna put crap does nothing so I don't think that's maybe in development or something but let's see what else um you what if you want to add a permission to the group so you do slash pp add no no it's actually pp group Add permission. Sorry, permission. Oh no no no, that's wrong. Sorry 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 guys. Permission. Space add space in the name of the group test and then the permission which I'm do. What should I do? I could do permit no. I'm trying to think of a permission. It's um permission dot build. It says permissions dot build warden or something like that. That's how you add a permission. I don't. I can't really test it because I'm up. But basically, if you want to add a permission to a group, so let's just say you want select. Let's just say group one can't join spleef games, but group two can. They can do spleef.join add and spleef.join remove to the other group. And that's how it would work. And now you can actually just add a permission to one player. You can actually do that. You can do it to an entire group of people. Or you can just do it to one person. If you want to do it to one person, you do slash pp. User instead of group. Permission. Add. Name of the person, which is my name. And then permissions dot build I don't know if I did I probably entered the wrong um permission or something or the code is still not working or something once again this was just released Friday but if you do that it, if in the, on the future or if you can get to work that's how you add now if you want to um remove it from the group or the user all you do is the same command but you replace add with remove 
and it should re actually remove that. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty much it. This is actually a really simple plugin, and I'm seriously, you guys should try this out too. I might actually use this for my server, and I'm hoping this guy can um actually create a really good plugin, maybe out of UI or something. Interesting things. Um, check out the um link below. It's free. Um, give the guy some suggestions. He just threw it out. He might actually create a plugin for you if you PM him, and I might ask for a plugin too. Hope you guys like today's plugin tutorial, and you hope for more. Give me suggestions if you have a vi one you want me to do, or you actually have one. And like always, guys, see you later. Bye.